Try it yourself. Applying drag and drop to a web page. In this try it yourself exercise, we'll implement draggable and droppable elements on a web page. The first droppable element displays an image, and the second adds the image and source text to a list. The purpose of the example is to help you see how easy it is to make web elements droppable. The code for this try it yourself exercise is in the Hour 19 folder and the Images folder in the book's Code Listings Archive. The JS, CSS, and HTML files are named Hour 1902. Let's begin by loading Hour 1902.html into our web browser. You notice that we have three images and two droppable areas. When we drop an image into the first area, we get a shake effect and the image displays filling the entire container, as you can see. Now, to use the second element, notice that when I drop it in, I get a reproduction of the image at its thumbnail size and then some metadata giving us the location and the title of the file. And we can actually build this list by using drag and drop. Now let's revisit Optana Studio. And I'll show you that in our 1902.html in lines 14 through 16, you can find the lake, tiger, and volcano JPEG files are in your book's code listings archive. Now let's turn our attention to the JavaScript file, in particular the ready function. In lines 2 and 3, we have lines that add the draggable widget to drag1, drag2, and drag3. We use clone for the helper setting to keep the images in place. We also set the cursor and the opacity. Moreover, you can set Z-index up so that the images will show on top of other page elements even while dragging over them. On lines 4 through 9, we implement droppable on drop 1, except to set to image so that only image elements will be accepted. In line 5, a dropover event handler is added that applies a pulsate effect to the droppable box when the draggable item is hovering over it. Also, a drop event handler is added in lines 6 and 7 that will add an image element to drop one with the same source attribute as the draggable element. A bounce effect is also added to show the user the content changed. Finally, we have lines from 10 to 16 that implement droppable on drop two. Notice in line 10 the hover class that's added. This class will cause the background to turn light blue when the box is hovered over by a droppable item. Also, in lines 11 through 16, the drop handler function is implemented that adds a div element with the image and source text to drop to.